Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, and I guess Pirates fans, if there are any out there watching. We're back in my 1981 out-of-the-park baseball Pirates season. Now, there is something I had neglected to mention in past videos as out-of-the-park has rolled into 1981. If you will recall, 1981 was the first baseball work stoppage since 1972. And so they never did complete their season. Today we are taking on the LA Dodgers. Now in real life, the Pirates were um, five, were one in five against the Dodgers. Only six games played, but they probably would have played about another four, a four, another four or five games against them if the season had gone on. So I want to point this out and look at the schedule. We go to team schedule here. And as you can see, this right here, this is today's game at LA. But um, if we roll through, and let me move my face over here a little bit. If we roll through, you can see here's July, a full July. Here's August, a full August. September, pretty full September. And there's even some games in October. So um, as far as the plan, the um, it doesn't appear as though our out of the park follows along with what happened in real life as far as strikes and work stoppages. It'll be interesting as we go on to see if that does happen. Because I believe that the games that we're playing right now, these games were played. There was actually... Um, a little over 100, maybe 102, 105, 103, something like that games were played before the season was, uh, before the season ended prematurely in the real 1981. So it will be interesting to see if that happens in my season, because even if it were going to happen in this season, you would still have had an entire schedule planned out for the team with the intent of playing the entire schedule. So anyway, um, I want to get that little bit of housekeeping news out of the way. Now, if we, you know, we go back to the manager's office, you can see we're going to have today, Jim Bibby will be on the mound against Dave Goltz. This game is in LA, in Chavez Ravine. And um, you can see down here, we are 26 and 34. So we're having a very bad time. You can see my owner is angry at me at the moment. Got a lot of stuff going on. We're going to get into it. Um, yeah, so he's not happy with me at all. Now, uh, we have a uh, an injury update to let everybody know about, and that is Tim Foley. Now, Tim Foley is really having a terrible year for me, so that's not really the worst news because he is only hitting 158. Um, in 1981, but he has an intercostal strain and he'll be out three to four weeks. Now, it, it just so happens that right around this time, I also get a personal message from Rodney Scott, who says that um, basically that I need to play him more. Well, guess what? That's going to happen now because we have Foley uh, on the um, on the IL. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Rodney Scott at second base. I'm going to move Larry Milborn over to shortstop. That should increase our offense, I would hope. But uh, more importantly, it should also make Rodney Scott happier. Um, maybe not, but you can read what he said right there in, in the personal message. So, And that's one of the cool things about Out of the Park. You get personal messages from players. You have injuries. To players that you have to deal with. I mean, that will happen in a Stratomatic game, but um, it, well, I don't know. I guess it would carry over. Yeah, it would carry over if you were playing a season. Yeah. But, um, but you don't get like player discontent. You don't get stuff like that. It could ex affect the players, uh, you know, the way they, they play for you. So anyway, we will get into this game right now. Bibby against Goltz, and I have to make that change that I was talking about. 
Pittsburgh lineup and starting pitcher. We are going to move Milbourne to second base. We're going to uh, drop Rodney Scott in. Or no, we're going to move Milbourne to short. And then we're going to put Rodney Scott at second. We're going to move Rodney Scott uh, up to second in the order. Milbourne will bat in front of him, in front of Cowens. We have Dempsey catching. We have Bibby out on the mound. So let's get going. All righty. So we are back, and um, we have Willie Wilson leading off for us. And let me just adjust where I am slightly. And then we will swing away. The Dodgers are 35 and 31. As I said, I have a bad record. I'm near the bottom of the East right now, hoping that we can make a big comeback. Hopefully our guy, our GM can go out and trade for some people. As I've said in previous episodes, I am not the GM of the team. I'm just the manager because I don't like to mess with all the other stuff. Like when you're the uh, general manager of a team in this game, you control everything. You want to go out and make trades, but sometimes you can't make a trade because the trade doesn't fit under your salary cap. And, you know, and then you've got different cap rules for how players apply to the cap and, you know, all kinds of stuff like that that I'd rather not mess with. So um, I did do that. If you'll recall, I was doing a uh, an early um, or a late 1800 season where I was the Colonels and, I, you know, managed a couple of other teams if you do it if you do that that's fine because you know for that that era that baseball era because there's a lot fewer things that you have to be concerned with as a general manager players have contracts and you controlled the contracts you control whether um they you know you didn't have to they wouldn't become free agents so you didn't have to bid on free agents and you controlled how much the players made and basically, you made sure that you were go your team was going to make money. Um, in today's day and age, players can't always be assured of that. And Dempsey just threw a guy out, which is awesome. So there is two down, and he has Reggie Smith at the plate. I don't want to lose too much track of the game. Now, you remember Jim Bibby, the last time, I think the last time he pitched, he went a complete game, and he was stellar. Um, we got Mike Marshall up. Mike Marshall was actually on the Dodgers, and he rips a ball down the uh, right field line. The Dodgers have a threat going here, two on and two down. And that's going to be a fly ball. So they we do get out of that inning unscathed, and it's still 0-0 zero, zero with uh, Ken Phelps batting against Dave Goltz. I remember Dave Goltz with the Twins. I don't think I was back. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know he pitched for the Dodgers, so I don't know if this is out of the park acquiring him after. Because I know in 79, he was, I think it's in 79, he was on the Minnesota Twins. So it's possible he was on the Dodgers like before that, sometime in the late 70s, mid to late 70s. And uh, I am going to say, let's see. I'm going to say, I'm going to say no. So we've got a man at third, runners at second and third, no outs, and we're up one nothing. So we are all over Dave Golds. As I was saying, I remember him on the Twins in 79. So he may have been traded from the Dodgers, and leave it in the comments if you know, if you're a Dodgers fan or if you know the history, you were a little older than me in the late 70s. Um, but it's possible he was on the Dodgers, and then, woo, yeah, baby, walking in a run. Love that. And then the uh, in real life, the Dodgers traded or he signed with the Twins, and... Um, and that's how he got on the Twins, but in Out of the Park, they haven't parted with him yet. I mean, that's quite possible. 
So we couldn't advance on that. So there's one down, run or base is still loaded. We yeah, we gotta come away with a little bit here. We gotta get more than this. Rodney Scott is going to well, he's gonna get the run in because he avoided hitting into a double play. So we got runners at second and third, two down, we're up three nothing, and Lee Lacey up. And Lee Lacey's gonna line out to short. All right, we're up 3 nothing. bottom of the second. This should be enough for Bibby based on, you know, if he pitches like he did the last time. That's going to be a fly out. Whenever, I mean, it's dead giveaway out of the park. Whenever the, the camera pans way up into the air to watch the ball in the air, it's never a home run. It's always a fly ball. It's always a deep fly ball. Um, they have a runner at first with one down here in the in the bottom of the second. Bibby is getting he's not he's not as sharp as he was in the last game that I televised where he pitched, which was probably like two out of the park videos ago. Um but he's held them so far. We're going to the top of the third. Hebner up. Hebner lines it up the middle for a base hit. And that brings um, Ken Phelps up. Ken Phelps, come on, man. Lefty on righty and a great power hitter. Milbourne is up. And he's going to strike out. So now I've got two down and Al Cowan's up. And certainly I think by this time, Al Cowan's in real life was with the... I'm going to say yes because there's two outs. And... Apparently that didn't work. He probably got thrown out because we're now in the field again. Jim Bibby pitching to Davy Lopes. And that's going to be an out. And that brings up Dusty Baker, which is yeah, looking a little pale for Dusty Baker. So he's aboard and we have Reggie Smith up and so is he. I'm going to have to do some adjustments here, player adjustments. And as they come up, you know, um, as I play the teams and I watch them and televise the games, I can see. Mike Marshall up with one on and two down, and that's going to be it. And we get out of the inning. And we are going to the top of the fourth. Up 3 nothing. Rick Dempsey, our catcher, is at the plate. Rick Dempsey is going to ground out, one down. That brings up Jim Bibby. Jim Bibby strikes out. There's two down quickly, and Willie Wilson is up. And Willie Wilson is going to get on by an error by the second baseman. Davey Lopes makes an error, and we got Rodney Scott up. And Rodney Scott is going to fly out. So, we are going back to the field. Bottom of the fourth. Up three, nothing. Bibby's still pitching quite well. One out. You can see his bar is not even close to being expended yet. And we're in the fourth which is good. And that's going to be a fly out. Two down. And that brings up Bill Russell. Bill Russell is... Oh, there's an error. Hebner made an error, which is not shocking. And now he is pitching against Daryl Thomas. And Daryl Thomas... Oh. Dempsey tried to pick him off, pick the runner off first, and it didn't work. And that's going to be a walk. And so now there's two runners on and uh, two down. And it'll be interesting to see if they let Golds hit. They are going to let Golds hit. Well, that was a bad idea. I mean, I got to be honest. The guy's given up three runs in uh, four innings. 
and he came up in a position where he could have driven a run, and you needed to pinch hit for him right there. My personal opinion. So anyway, uh, Dave Goltz out back out to the mound, pitching against Lee Lacey here in the top of the fifth. He grounds out. There's one down. Brings up Richie Hebner. Richie Hebner ripping it again, and there's going to be an error on the first baseman. Mike Marshall making an error. Ken Phelps up. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. And he is going to hit into a double play. So the error by Marshall doesn't hurt the Dodgers in the fifth, or yeah, in the top of the fifth. And so now we go to the bottom of the fifth. Bibby dealing the lopes. And he's going to be on. He's going to beat that out. So he's got a, he's on him with a single. Brings up Dusty Baker. Dusty Baker is going to hit into a double play, hopefully, and he does. There's two down. Two down and Reggie Smith. up. And that is going to be a fly ball. Deep fly ball. And we're out of the inning. And uh, that brings up Larry Milborn. In the top of the sixth, we still have the 3 nothing lead. Bibby on top of his game so far. Al Collins is up for us. There's two down quickly. And Rick Dempsey. And that's going to be a ground out first. Score it 3-1. to one. And we go to the bottom of the sixth, up 3 nothing. Bibby still has plenty in the tank, and he's going to be dealing to Mike Marshall. We should be able to get Marshall, and we do. One down, and that brings up Mike Sosha, the catcher. Mike Sosha is going to fly out to right, and up steps our main man, Bibby. And he is going to pop out to the infield. So we are retired there. Go to the top of the seventh. Jim Bibby up. And he is out. Willie Wilson is up. And he's going to ground out. I'm not even going to take a chance going to the bullpen if I don't have to. If I can, if Jim Bibby can go the distance and nail this thing down for us. I'm going to take it because we're having a terrible season. And anytime you can get that kind of a great performance from a pitcher, um, in real life, you would definitely want to do it. But, um, you know, especially for the pitcher. But even here, Jim Bibby dealing to Bill Russell. Even here, you don't want to take a chance. And that's a base hit. So we'll see. Maybe he's losing his effectiveness. He is, he is in the middle right now. He's in the middle. Daryl Thomas is up with a man aboard and no outs. And he bunts the ball, but we get him. So the bunt only advances the runner, but still result, does result in an out. And Guerrero is up, Pedro Guerrero. And he's going to get a base hit that's going to knock in a run, I believe. No, he's out. We threw him out. Unbelievable. You know, and this happened, this I, might have been Bibby that was pitching, I don't know. But we were going up against Steve Rogers. That was another game I televised against the Expos and Steve Rogers. And like three guys were thrown out at the plate for the Expos. And we won that game. I think we won that game one nothing. So anyway, we've got Dave Roberts is up. That he actually looks like Dave Roberts, only again, he's a little too pale. But the face, it looks just like his face. Um, Lee Lacey is going to deal to him. Or is that the Dave Roberts I'm thinking? It might be. No, maybe not. No. Dave Roberts, the manager of the Dodgers. It was probably before his time. So that couldn't be him. Because he was in like the 2004 World Series or ALCS or something. I doubt he played from 81 to uh, 2004. Oh, this is the pitcher. All right. Is it really?
Dave Roberts the pitcher. All right, well, it's definitely not him then. This is definitely a different Dave Roberts. I'm just going to go on record as correcting myself. But we have a man on with two outs and uh, Larry Milbourne up. And that's going to be a base hit. I'm going to send him. Let's send him. Let's do it. And it works. The gamble pays off. And uh, Al Cowens is up. Al Cowens is going to fly out. But we still have a 3 nothing lead because we gunned a guy at the plate. And because other than that, Jim Bibby has been pretty stellar. And he's going to ground out to the first baseman. 3-1 to one again. Um, one down, nobody on. And that's going to be a ground out to the first baseman. Two down quickly. And Mike Marshall at the plate. And he is going to fly out to right. So now they got a new pitcher, Steve Howe. Steve Howe, as you might remember, had a problem with uh, drugs, a big problem with drugs, but he was a great relief pitcher when he pitched and was healthy and was not into the drugs. Uh, Rick Dempsey is up at the plate, going to have a full count on him. And strike out. That brings up. I really should get somebody up. I'm going to get somebody up, and I'm going to pinch hit for him. Ah, I don't know. That's a tough decision. I will get Enrique Romo warming up, though. You want to have somebody ready. But I think if Bibby can go, the you know, if he can go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him try to finish the game. But at least we'll have Romo ready. And there, man, the first baseman, Phelps, making a deep fly, uh, deep uh, behind the infield play. And uh, Willie Wills, or no, no, they're, wait. No, they're, their first baseman, Mike Marshall, made that play. All right. So, 3 nothing, bottom of the ninth. Bibby is leading. He's, I'm sending him back out to the mound to pitch to Sosha. And he walks Sosha. Um, this is Ron Say. Ron Say is uh, probably pinch hitting for the pitcher. And he is going to hit a home run and make it 3-2. And so what do you think I'm going to do? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go get... Enrique Romo. I mean, I was content to let Bibby try to complete the game, but he gave up two runs, and uh, now the game is 3-2. And that is going to be a double down the line. This is no good. We got no outs. Up steps Steve Garvey. And he's going to hit it. Oh, my God, they're going to tie the game. Or are they? No, they're not. But runners are at the corners with two out. Um, now, I hate the infield in, but I think I've got to bring the infield in. And it didn't work. But we're going to throw the guy out at third. Nice. That's our first out. I mean, it's not like the pitching got the outs. So there's our first out, runner at first. It's a tie game. He tries to steal, and Dempsey's not even going to throw the ball. Good work, Dempsey. Or, or Diddy, and it was, I don't know. But anyway, uh, Lopes is up at the plate, and Enrique Romo is getting his butt handed to him big time. That's two outs, though. Runner moves to third. And you got Dusty Baker up. And he laces a base hit and wins the game for the Dodgers. Had my closer in and everything. Didn't work. So, yeah, we lose 4-3. Oh, man, we had it. We had that game. All right, I'll let you look at the box scores here. It was crazy. No, I guess Ron Say wasn't. He was the third baseman the entire game. He wasn't a pinch hitter. Um, man, that is a tough loss. 
Bibby went eight, allowed eight hits, walked three, allowed two earned runs. But Romo was terrible. He pitched two-thirds of an inning, four hits, two earned runs. Goltz went seven, allowed six hits, three runs. Um, Roberts came in, pitched a pretty clean inning. I mean, he gave up two hits, but it's a good inning. And then Howe came in and got the win by going an inning and allowing nothing and striking a guy out. So, yeah, we're going to finish the day and see if there's any new um, mail. And then we're going to go to here. And you can see we're 26 and 35. Not good at all. So anyway, a pretty uh, disappointing loss for the Pirates who looked like they had a win. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Sign